Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. Before we get into it, quick heads up, we're going to have a big live stream on Halloween night as we play through the Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare. It's going to be the perfect way to spend Halloween. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification bell with all notifications on. It'll let you know as soon as we go live on Halloween night. Now, I'm actually out of town when this video goes up. I'm doing a pre-Halloween vacation, and I'm going to try to do an IRL live stream, so... Of course, if you hit the notification button, it should let you know when that starts up as well. I do have something trippy planned. Now, with me being out of town, I have to bring in Amy to help out with this video. She's going to show off some trippy secrets that Rockstar actually hid within trees right here in Red Dead Redemption 2, including one that I had no idea about. Amy actually just told me about this one. It is crazy, but we're going to start off next to the tiny church. We recently talked about this with Amy, and she had mentioned hidden voodoo symbols that surround the church. They are most likely involved. Maybe something will go down with the Halloween update. With that said, I'm gonna put a link in the description to Amy's channel. Make sure to give her a sub. She would really appreciate it. Thanks to her for helping out while I'm out of town. Take it away, Amy, and let us know what secrets Rockstar has hid within the trees of Red Dead Redemption 2. We're starting off today with the swamp trees. If you wanna know the location, I'm showing it on my map right now. And if you notice, the markers are actually in the shape of a triangle where each swamp tree is. This makes me wonder, did Rockstar purposely put them in a triangle formation? They are also very close to the tiny church, and if you stand beside one of the trees, you can actually hear the church bell go off, so I'm wondering, are these two things related? This symbol relates to Aloha spirit and voodoo. Aloha is the spirit of Haitian and Louisiana voodoo, which we all know Le Moine is based off Louisiana. Aloha is looked upon as a godly figure in voodoo. They would often be prayed to and served. They are each distinct beings with their own traits, symbols, and so on. Here is a common image of Aloha. Aloha is pictured in game at the house beside the cabin where you can find the shrunken head. This symbol is called Aviv. Aviv is a religious symbol commonly used in different branches of voodoo. Aviv shouldn't be confused with Ponte Pimbas used in Palo voodoo. The Aviv acts as a beacon to the Aloha and will represent them during rituals. So basically this is a symbol that will represent the Aloha and it is associated with them. I did some research and I found out that this symbol represents the Loa called Ogin. He is a spirit that appears in many African religions. He is a warrior and powerful spirit of metalwork, as well as rum making. He is also known as the God of Iron. Here is a photo of the Vive symbol of Ogin. The next symbol we can find is the same Vive symbol, but it's been weather beaten and worn off. Ogin's full name is Ogin Lake, and Lake in game is where we can find these symbols. The last symbol and it is also to do with voodoo, but it is a different type of voodoo this time. And it's stuff oh, We just got hit by a boar. <laughs> no way, I gotta leave that in. Anyway, back to what I was saying. The last symbol is related to another type of voodoo called Pelo. The symbol represents good luck and it is called a Ponte Pimba, not a Vive. Pelo originated in Cuba and has many different branches such as Mayombe. Monte and Brayombe. Hope I'm pronouncing those right. Here is a photo I found online of the Ponte Pimba. It was hard to find out information about this symbol, but I found out the symbol is a representation of Seate Reos, which means seven lightning bolts. He is a highly masculine spirit and aggressively protective of his devotees. He's a highly popular spirit and favors those who have been struck by lightning and survived. They have trees, pointing to a set of trees that say why. As if Rockstar is asking us, why did we do this? Why is this here? You can only actually see that they spell out the word why if you come exactly to where I am standing. It took me a bit to figure out where to actually stand to get the word, but it's just around here on down a bit. And yep, you'll start to see the word now. Native Americans actually worshipped gods of thunder and lightning. Maybe they marked out this spot as lightning struck here and they found it sacred. The Native Americans may believe that the god has struck the earth to spell out this word why. If you do want to get struck by lightning here, you'll have to first collect the viking gear and then come here at exactly 10pm with a thunderstorm. 59. 59. Oh my god, he got struck! He got struck! Oh my god! We did it! We did it! No way! I actually pulled that off in the live stream. As you can see, I was really excited. Huge thanks again to Amy. She's exactly right. It really does spell out why. I'd never noticed that before. And considering it's the same location where you can come to in story mode at 10 o'clock p.m. while it's raining and you'll get struck by lightning, 
It just makes it that much more mysterious. And it really makes you wonder why. Make sure to subscribe to her channel. I'll put the link to Amy's channel in the description. She would really appreciate it if you sub. And also hit the like button on the video. With that said, guys, have a great Halloween. We'll have some big live streams coming up. Subscribe if you are new. Hit the notification button. Hit the like button on the video. And as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?